everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a review of the latest perfume from Ellis Brooklyn. It is the new Florist fragrance. So I'm gonna be letting you know what this smells like, give you my review, first impressions. If you're new here, then hello, welcome. We're all about perfumes. I have hundreds of videos just like this going through new releases. I do have a video on the Ellis Brooklyn range. Um, I went through their library collection. Um, so I'll leave that link down below. I think that was from last year. And I have an article on my website that reviews the entire range as well. And if you're a regular, do make sure that you are subscribed and give the video a thumbs up. That really helps me. So I think this is the 13th perfume from Ellis Brooklyn. And they've only been around like six years. So they're sort of releasing two a year. And they've got a really lovely collection. And more recently, she started releasing these bottles with these really vivid colors on, which I love. Um, pink is the color of 2023 and we've got the Barbie movie. My perfume Aphrodite is going to be pink so we're all about the pink at the moment and I do love this hot pink bottle and the packaging as well is super hot pink. I went to the launch event for this which was hosted by the founder Bish Perro um, who flew over from New York so I'll um, put some footage in now. It was really fun and we got to make some flowers as well. And to be a modern take on what white floral can be and in our flower arranging class there is also Tuberose. Yeah, so I really enjoyed uh, meeting B again and um, creating my floral bouquet. And it really is a celebration of flowers, this fragrance. It has definitely that feeling of walking into a flower shop, think like replica, springtime in the park. It really is that type of feeling, um, but it, it feels very modern. Sometimes very floral fragrances can feel a bit old fashioned. This feels very light fresh, uplifting, spring, summer floral. And I think it's coming from a bergamot top note, which is really lemony and fresh and uplifting. There's also a pear note in here. You guys know how much I love pear notes and perfumes. And it was really interesting. She was saying that um, the company that creates the fragrance, uh, can never pronounce it, Froom Tech, um, they, I know they have this technology where rather than actually using, you know, hundreds of pairs or thousands of pairs, they have some like special machine where you put a pair in it and it sort of extracts the scent and then they can multiply it out in the fragrances. So you only actually need one pair. So it has a sustainable element to it. I know that this brand is really keen on sustainability. They're vegan, cruelty-free, paraben-free as well. So after those um, fresh lemony top notes and the pear, you then get that totally floral bouquet. So lily of the valley, gardenia, mm, honeysuckle that adds a little bit of sweetness. And there's a jasmine and tuberose in here, but it isn't the type of white florals that are in a lot of heavier perfumes like Lantadie, this is a much lighter tuberose than what we're used to and it doesn't have any of those earthy tones in it as well. And this also uses ambroxan, which is in more and more perfumes at the moment, which helps create a slightly creaminess, like a skin scent feeling to the fragrance as it dries down. It also helps it last as well. This is an eau de parfum, but it's definitely a light scent, definitely made for daytime, spring, summer. I think it's a really pretty like gifting idea because if you know anyone that's like really into pink, then this is a really cute gift. And it's one of those scents that's pretty difficult to dislike. It's a fresh, uplifting pink scent. Like if the color pink had a smell, this is what it would smell like, if that makes sense. And the name florist is definitely accurate and true to the to, to the scent. It does have that walking into a florist feeling to it. So it's pretty innocent. It's not super heavy. I find the lasting power is a few hours and then you're really going to want to top it up again. But it is a really pretty modern floral. The perfumer that created this, Frank Vocal, not sure how to pronounce it. I think it's a Dutch last name. He created um, Santal 33 from Le Labo, which is so famous, but he's also created a lot of really light fragrances as well, um, including Glossier U, which is like a fly runaway success for Glossier, their U fragrance. And again, that has that ambroxan creamy note in it, but this is much brighter and floral compared to Glossier U. I don't know if you remember Marc Jacobs' Daisy Delight. He created that. Paris 
Paris Hilton Dazzle and Platinum Rush. Um, and yeah, a lot of the Le Labo perfumes. And I definitely am starting to get the Umbroxen now. It settles on the skin and it sort of fades to become this floral Umbroxen. So those top notes, those initial lemony pear notes fade to reveal the floral and then the Umbroxen. So yeah, it's definitely Soki approved if you're looking for an everyday, light-hearted, feminine pink scent. This is definitely one for you. And of course, I love that it's vegan and cruelty-free like my perfumes are. So many perfumes aren't still. Um, so yeah, so let me know if you tried this. Um, I do love the Sunfruit one as well that she released last year. And I'll leave the link to my video on the range and my article on the range as well um, down below. But yeah, that's it guys. So thank you so much for watching as always. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.